this which are we know, uh, the energy, drive and enthusiasm of many Greek communities around Australia, uh, the university departments and patrons that support the institute, the friends uh, around Australia, uh, and I might say in particular the University of Sydney and adding the financial acumen and advice of the Institute's financial advisors. This has made the establishment of the Archaeological Institute so secure. I also might add that I've been associated with the attempts to establish in three other places uh, Australian foreign schools abroad all of which have been disastrously abortive. Uh, in Syria, uh, Dr. E. Boonins of the University of Melbourne and I have been working in North Syria. And when uh, he and I uh, contemplated uh, putting our resources together and establishing an Australian study centre in North Syria in Ireland, uh, uh, this is where our deep teams could be accommodated, where our graduate students could continue their studies, and where after the deep we could, at some leisure, uh, write our reports, study our finds, and do our drawings. Unfortunately, Guy Bindens, uh decided to leave the University of Melbourne and to return to his native. Belgium, and that was disaster number one. Disaster number two was Cyprus, where this university has long had an archaeological interest, as well as the Trobe University property uh, was secured in North uh, Cyprus, but unfortunately before a uh, school was established, uh, the Turkish invasion of North Cyprus meant the expropriation of that property. And then finally, Italy. You would think there would be enormous enthusiasm for establishing an Australian uh, school in Italy. Classicists, medievalists, art historians, Renaissance scholars, uh, scholars of modern Italy and Italian. Well, the problem was, where should it be established? Rome, Florence, Venice, Bologna, and elsewhere. Having eventually agreed that it should be Rome, then we met resistance because there were loyal supporters of the British school in Rome, which had been uh, habitually um, very hospitable to Antipodean scholars. And those who supported the British School in Rome thought we should have just an Australian wing at the British School, uh, which didn't go down well with getting Italians to cough up money. Uh, eventually, we did raise uh, a quite a considerable sum of money uh, over a quite a dozen years, I recall, and I was chairman of that committee. But, but it was insufficient, and in the end, disaster number three. Uh, we had to disperse the funds. It's a series of scholarships for uh, um, scholars to work at an affiliated school in Italy. So the Australian Archaeological Institute at Athens remains unique. It is the only Australian foreign school abroad and it is due to the drive and vision of Alexander Kambizuglu and I'd ask you to join with me in congratulating Professor Kambizuglu on his achievement.